Hey guys, welcome to the video. And here today, this is a short version of the detailed version of this tutorial. In this one, I'm assuming that you know your way around a PS3 and or a modded PS3. You know how to install firmwares. Um, you also know how to host files either on your PC or on a smart device and that you will know everything that you need in order to be able uh, to serve those files and host them. The PS3 does need to be on the same home network as whatever device it is that you're using to serve or host the file, whether it be your phone or smart device or whether it be your PC. If you're using a phone and technically you can use a phone for all of this, um, you know about, you know, your phone having to be OTG uh, capable and you have the OTG cable uh, you need and all that good stuff. Everyone, regardless of what method you're using, you will need a FAT32 formatted USB storage device for sure. Now, when you do this method, whether you're installing HEN for the first time or you just want to have a nice, a fresher, updated version of HEN, you want to do an update and you, know, you just want a nice clean update for either one of those two groups of people, I assure you that when you use this method, you will not lose anything that you have installed. Not your games, not your ROMs, not your homebrews, not your saves or your user profile. None of that. All of that will remain. The only thing you might lose is your theme and maybe any boot up images if you already had hen and you change those. Your boot up images may go back to stock and so may your boot up sounds, uh, but you can always put those back. So all the important stuff will remain. Oh, and lastly, this method is far more beneficial than connecting to ps3exploit.com because it's being hosted in your home network. It's faster, it's more reliable, it's more stable, and you get a far, far higher rate of success. People experience problems initializing HEN, or maybe they experience issues trying to install HEN once the initialization process has gone through. I haven't experienced any of that stuff. Plus, we get to skip one or two things here or there because we're doing it from our own home network. So it makes the process even faster still. So it's far more reliable, far higher success rate. If you don't know about hosting or serving files or things like that, then make sure you watch the detailed video because in there I explain a few of the apps or softwares that I use and how to set them up and things like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so our first stop brings us here to the official Sony PS3 site where we are going to grab the latest OFW. You just scroll down and grab the latest one from right here. Next, we need the latest HFW. You'll come here and grab this latest one, which as of right now is 4.86.1. And then you need to go to ps3exploit.com. When you're here, you're gonna go up to the top here where it says PS3 Hen. You'll go to 486HFW, which is the current one. Come over here and select download release files and it will download a zip file. So make sure you grab all those three things. I'll put links, of course, down in the description. All right, so here we are at the root of the FAT32 USB. But before we go there and get things started with that, I recommend that you make a folder on your desktop and you can call it whatever you like. I called mine 486 hen. Once you do that, let's go into that folder. We're going to open up the PS3 hen zip file that we got from ps3exploit.com. Open the folder inside up, go into the HTML folder, and then just copy over the PS3 hen enabler USB 000.html file. You're gonna copy that into the folder you just created. This is the file that needs to get hosted. This is the only one that needs to get hosted. You don't need to rename it index HTML. If you don't want to, you can, it doesn't hurt anything. You can leave it just like that and that's it. So we can close that folder up and now you have it there. So you can do whatever you like and host that file however you normally do. 
So while we're still here in the zip, let's go back to the root of the zip file. We need to copy the package file and the bin file into the root of our FAT32 USB. So we do that. Okay, let's close that zip. Now let's come over to the PS3 folder. You know you should have an update folder there. And now you can copy over the OFW update pub file. Just drag it into there. I've already done that. Go into the HFW zip file that we downloaded and grab the HFW um, firmware update pup and drag it in here as well. The PS3 will not read the HFW uh, firmware because it's named differently. It will ignore it completely and it's just going to install your OFW because it's named correctly. So this is kind of a little pro tip or whatever you want to call it. Instead of having to transfer the files over, you know, all the time, you can just put both of them here. Once you're done installing OFW, all you need to do is just come here and rename them. Rename the OFW one, maybe OFW 486 or 486 OFW or whatever. Then come here to the HFW and you can delete all of this front part and just leave the ps3 of that dot pup name and then it will install the hfw and it will ignore the ofw one so you can actually have a bunch of different pup files here as long as they're all named something different it will ignore all of them and it will only install the one that's called ps3 of that dot pup so again that's just a little tip you could do it however you like so now we have our FAT32 formatted. It has all the stuff that we need. You can go ahead and install OFW once. Once it's done installing, then install HFW twice. I'm not going to walk you through that because again, I'm assuming you know how to do that all. Again, you'll do this method whether you're installing HEN for the first time or you just want a nice, fresh, clean update of HEN. You will do the process the same. OFW once, HFW twice. So I'm going to assume that you've already done that. Let's go to the next step. Okay, so for this part, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the section from the detailed video that shows you how to install and enable HEN because I really can't cut anything from there. The steps are the same. So I'm going to copy and paste that here next. You're going to see me hosting the file on my phone. I'll be using it as a server. For this part, remember that you need to have your FAT32 USB plugged into the rightmost port of your PS3. You didn't have to do this when you installed OFW and HFW. You could put the USB in any port, doesn't matter. But for HEN, it must be in the rightmost USB port. So let me go ahead, let me start up that portion now, follow along, and then when it's done, I'll come back. First, let's go over here. We're gonna go to system settings, and then we are going to scroll down to where it says display what's new. Make sure that says off. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and head on over to our browser. When we go to our browser, there's a few things we need to do. You're going to press triangle. Go to tools. And in tools, go to JavaScript and make sure that it's on. Then we're going to go down to the home page. Oh, I'm sorry. First, go to confirm browser close. Make sure it's off. Now go to your home page. Make sure you set it to use blank. And when you hit use blank, go ahead and press OK. I've already done it. Go back into tools. And now we're going to delete cookies. We're going to delete search history and we're going to delete our cache. So let's do all three of those. It really doesn't matter in what order. OK, and now that we've done all of that, let's get out of the browser. And now we are going to go ahead and set up the server. Make sure you set up whichever server it is that you are going to use. So I'm going to use my phone. Let me go ahead and turn that on and get it ready. OK, now that I have my phone up and ready, I'm going to go ahead and click on simple HTTP server. Remember, we set everything up earlier, so the only thing we need to do is just turn it on. So we'll press the 
off button, which makes it turn on. You got the little light at the bottom and it's ready to go. And this is the IP address we need to put into the browser or you'll put whatever IP address of whatever server it is that you're using. So when we go back into the browser, it should open up into a blank homepage, press the start button and go ahead and start typing that IP address. Mine should already be here, I hope. Let's see. Okay, that's a different one. Okay, now that you've put the IP address, let's go ahead and press start. All right, and there we go. So we have the files that we need right there. Okay, that we installed the only files, the HTML file. So just point to the HTML file. Again, make sure your USB is in the rightmost port. Make sure that bin file and that package file are on the root of it that we transferred to it earlier. And now just press that HTML file. And then hen will go into enable. And you can see here there's stuff happening. You can see hen is enabling and there we go. When you get this confirmation over on the right side, it will automatically say downloading. It's not downloading from PS3 exploit. It's downloading from your USB. It's downloading the file it needs. So once it's done, just hit circle. And now it's installing the package file that's on your USB or well, the, the one it downloaded from your USB. So this is going to be done here in just a minute. There we go. When it's done, hit circle, All right? Let's go into remote play. When we go into remote play, as soon as the words come up, make sure you hit circle immediately. So right here, hit circle to go back. And then once we do that, then you'll have a couple of things there. Okay, and you see now you have some hen stuff here. Let's go ahead, go here to hybrid firmware tools, go to restart PS3 and click on full restart. And there we go. You see the hen logo here. And there we go. Now we have hen and HEN is installed. You no longer need to have that USB plugged into your port. Let's go ahead and enable it. I already have um, like Webman installed. I already have Multiman installed or whatever. So all your homebrews should still work. If you have an issue with them, maybe just try reinstalling them again. But uh, I've done this a few times now and it's worked just fine. And there we go. And that, guys, is going to wrap it up for this video, the shorter version of how to install or update your hen while hosting the files yourself. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found anything here useful, informative, and helpful, you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, you know the best way to do that, guys, is just to squish the F out of that like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be super careful out there, guys. Be safe, but have fun, and we will see you on the next one.